everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good today. So in today's video, I am going to show you guys how I shave my face. A lot of you guys were asking me how I shave my face without irritating it. So I'm going to show you guys how I do it and also my skincare routine after I shave my face. So without further ado, let's get started. Also, if you are someone who's new to this channel, thank you so much for watching this video. If you like affordable makeup, skincare and fashion related content, you can hit the subscribe button because I post four days a week. And yeah, without further ado, let's get started. So before starting, I do want to say that I remove my facial hair at least once a week. I will do this whole routine kind of a thing because I really love how amazing my skin feels after removing my facial hairs. And I just think that it looks so good. Makeup just sits so well on top. And it is like a physical exfoliation, so it removes the dead skin. So I really love how soft and supple my skin becomes after removing my facial hairs. So what I have been using lately to remove my facial hairs is the Carmacy. This is the facial razor and this comes in a pack like this it contains three razors so it is actually really really you know good for thick hairs as well because I have thick hairs and a lot of the time what happens is that uh, you know the areas where I have thicker hairs they don't really get removed that easily so I have to go you know twice or thrice in the same area so what happens is that my, uh, my skin ultimately gets very very irritated but with this I have noticed that it does not only remove fine hairs but it is also amazing for thicker hairs too so this facial razor is actually made with stainless steel so it doesn't really give any micro cuts on the face as you can see the razor has this zigzag pattern it's not straight up blunt like a knife so you won't cut yourself because this design helps the razor glide smoothly all over your face and doesn't bruise your skin while shaving it also has a good grip as well it is easier to use at a different angle so now I'm going to show you how I use this razor on my face. So first, obviously, you have to cleanse your skin. It is a very important step to actually just cleanse your skin really well. Uh, you know, take off all the remaining dirt that you have, all the makeup that you may have, and uh, your face has to be really, really clean. So what I do next is I use this, uh, this is a aloe vera gel. I actually use this because I, do, I have dry skin and I don't like to use a razor just, you know, on my plain skin. So using an aloe vera gel actually helps the razor to glide on really smoothly and it just is very better to just, you know, uh, remove the hair very easily. So to effectively use the razor and to remove the hair, what I do is I hold the skin really tightly as you can see in the upward direction and move the razor in the downward direction. It is very important you do that so that way it really helps to remove even the tiniest of hairs. So the talks about hair coming back thicker and faster with shaving are all wrong. Razors don't pull out your hair from the root like waxing. They cut it from the shaft so the hair grows back normally as per your body's hair growth rate. Like my chin hair is hormonal so they come back much faster than my regular, you know, upper lips or sideburns. And as you can see here, I am really, you know, taking my time and removing my facial hairs. So it is very, very easy to remove your facial hairs once you do the upward and the downward direction thing. It is very, very easy to remove the facial hairs and there is no cut, there is no irritation at all. So this is how my skin looks like once I'm done shaving. So what you would have to do with the facial razor after shaving is that you have to clean it up with a wet cloth or you can use a makeup remover wipe as well. And then you have to take the lid and you have to put it back on for hygiene purpose or even, you know, for it to last more longer. So that is how you can store this facial razors. So if you want to get into facial shaving and also if you want to get this, uh, you know, clean shaved look like I have right now, Carmacy is having currently their August sale where their products are at 40% off. And not only that, you can use my code ARNAKSHI08 and get 10% more off. And not only on these razors, you can get anything from their whole website at, you know, if you use my code, you can get 10% more off. I will provide all the links in the description and you can find their products on Amazon as well. So right now I'm going to go and wash my face again because it is again very important that you wash your face before applying your skincare products. So after cleaning your face again, it is very very important that you do your skincare but you should also see what skincare you are using because right now you have just shaved your face so it's very important that you use very good hydrating products. So what I'm going to use now is this Claire's. This is the Supple Penetration Facial Toner. So using something like this is very important. Use a toner that is very, very hydrating on the skin. I really love this. So 
so I am going to use this on my skin it is not going to irritate my skin at all it's just going to give me that hydration since I just exfoliated my face so it is going to give me that So what I like to do after shaving is that I do not like to use active ingredients like retinol, vitamin C and niacinamide, none of that, you know, I use only very good hydrating and, you know, nourishing products for my skin. So your skin is just going to take all the hydration because you just exfoliated your skin and it's very important that you hydrate your face as much as you can. Even if you have oily skin, it does not matter. You have to hydrate your face in order for it to not irritate. So after, you know, using the facial toner, I'm going to go in with this Cosarex. This is the Snail Mucin Essence. This actually helps my skin to not get irritated after shaving. And it just is so, so helpful in providing me the hydration. And it never irritates my skin at all. So you can instantly see how glowy my skin is looking after using that product. So I like to do this uh, routine at nights and since I'm doing this at night it is important that I include a night cream as well in my routine. So I use the Claire's Rich uh, Moist Soothing Cream. So this actually is very moisturizing and hydrating and soothing at the same time. So it's important that you use something that is soothing and that is moisturizing. So something like that is going to help your skin so much. Uh, you can use any products that you have in your you know skincare routine. But I love using this and I have been using this for quite some time. So I'm going to use this. You don't need that much. This must is going to cover my whole face. So this is how my skin looks after using the facial razor and all the skincare that I just used. I keep the skincare very very minimal. It is very important that you hydrate your skin, you moisturize your skin and you keep the skincare very minimal. So what I do in order for my skin to not get irritated, again as I'm saying I use very hydrating, hydrating, hydrating skincare. The second thing I do is I use this routine like I do this routine at night. So right after I do this routine I do my skincare, nighttime skincare and then I go to bed and in the next morning my skin doesn't feel irritated. And the third thing I do is I don't overdo this whenever I feel like again I do this once a week or sometimes even like uh, once every two weeks because I feel like you know when my hair is getting you know growing back then only I use it I just don't use it like you know twice or after twice a week. So that will be a little bit too much if you use it twice a week. So it's very important that you see if your hair is very fine and if your hair grows back, you know, after like say two weeks, then you use it after two weeks. It depends on your hair growth. So that is just the step that I do after I do my whole facial shaving thing. I will leave the link to everything down in the description, the razor that I have been loving, the skincare and all of that. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys a lot and I will see you guys in my next video. I know a lot of you guys may have questions regarding this. So leave them down in the comments below. I will answer to each and every one of you. And yeah, thank you so much. I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.